Hola. I'd like to show you this Portuguese knife from a company in Portugal uh, based in Balaculo. 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 I, I, I don't know how to pronounce Portuguese stuff. Anyway, it's a town in Portugal that makes these knives. Uh, Cutelaria Artesanal José da Cruz. Uh, nice simple box. Nothing too fancy. On the side it says um, pocket knife with blade lock. Atho de Carbono, carbon steel. A little bit of care instruction here. Do not use the pocket knife as a screwdriver. Good advice. Wash by hand, never in the dishwasher. Good advice. After washing, dry immediately. Good advice. Here it says, keep away of children. <laughs> Good advice. So let's have a look inside, shall we? This unassuming little cardboard box from Portugal. So inside we have... Dun, 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 this rather attractive knife. Folding knife. If you are familiar with Opinel, the French knife, this is very similar. Uh, you'll see why I say that in a moment. I apologise for the focus. It keeps going in and out, doesn't it? Here we go. Let's try and keep it focused. So this is made from black ebony wood and boxwood. And the craftsmanship is really something else. The wood is beautifully smooth and the joins are I mean you can't you can't feel an edge there at all you run my nail across it there's nothing to say that that isn't just one continuous piece of wood it's absolutely glorious let's open it up and have a look at the blade shall we now as it says on the box it's a carbon steel there we go and it's blackened um, so how do they do that I'm not sure how they do that. Maybe it's a bit like a, 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 a pan that they, you, you season. Maybe they've seasoned it. Anyway, I don't know. But it's black. And it's, uh, it looks really kind of awesome with the, the blade, does, uh, with the handle, doesn't it? Black blade, black handle. It's pretty sharp. Yeah, pretty sharp. It's not mega thick. It's not, a, it's not a really thick blade, it's quite modest. Uh, on the blade it's got José da Cruz Balaculo stamped on it. That's the, where it's made. Little thumb nick there. And a little dot there. Can you see that dot? Little recessed dot. I'm not sure what that, why that's there. Probably something to do with the manufacturing. Now, this has got a lock like an opinel. If you're familiar with those, you have a little ring that you turn and it locks in place and the blade is absolutely locked there. That is not going anywhere. There's no play, absolutely rock solid. And the the ring is nice. It, it turns pretty smoothly. It's a very satisfying turn and it grips well. The, the knurling on there is really grippy. You can see that in opening the blade, it's marked slightly there, so it's it's just catching there. So over time, I imagine that will become more and more pronounced. Doesn't matter. It's a it's a utilitarian knife, uh, although I, I'd, I'd be tempted to put it on a little stand and just admire it because it's so pretty. We didn't look at the blade, the handle, did we? In great deep detail. Um, I'm just going to give you a little tour of it, a visual tour. There's some little, a little step in the wood there. And I do apologise for the focusing. This is a tricky little machine to master. Nice brass lanyard tube there. Quite small. Um, you're not going to get thick leather or paracord through there, but it's, it's there nonetheless. I'm just going to fold it up. Now it's quite stiff. Uh, it's got, a, as I said, the thumb nick here. You kind of need that. There's not much to grab on otherwise. 
I could do it without the, without it. It's it's a bit stiff. It is new, so um, that's to be expected, I suppose. Um, I'm just going to get my ruler, and we'll have a look at the dimensions of this knife. So here we go. Closed. It's ten point five centimeters long. Open. It is from the bottom of the handle all the way to the tip of the blade, just over 19 centimetres. And the blade itself is 8.5 centimetres, 85 millimetres. That lanyard tube that I, was, that I mentioned is, that is a bit small. The, di the diameter of that is 3, three millimetres. Yeah, that's modest, isn't it? Um, the blade thickness is... One, one millimeter. That is thin. However, it doesn't it doesn't flex too badly, and this is the sort of knife that you would use for food prep. I think, you know, you take it with a, with you on a on a picnic. You slice your tomatoes, butter your bread, um, cut an apple. It's that sort of thing. You know, it's not for um, chopping down trees, skinning animals that sort of thing. I think it's a, a food prep kind of knife. So that's it. The Jose da Cruz knife. Nice. I, I, I must say, uh, uh, there's a couple of little negatives uh, and that's just... Um, they're, they're, not, they're not major, but this little corner here is a little sharp and pointy. This little bit here on the knurling, that's sharp and pointy. It's a little, this edge is a bit sharp and rough. So, you know, if that's in your pocket, that's going to be flipping, pointing into your hand or whatever. It's, it, it's, this end, beautiful, smooth, soft, rounded, with the, the hidden, the blade is hidden within the handle. It's all lovely. This end, sharp. Ridges, pointy, snaggy, rough. So a little bit disappointing about that. But having said that, a lot of slip joints are like that. This is a, a not, this isn't unusual. Um, it's just something to to point out really. The other negative, slight negative, is that it's not easy to find these knives. Um, they have a Facebook page, Jose Cutelaria, Cutelaria, Jose da Cruz. So uh, Jose de Cruz Cutlery, I suppose it would it would translate as. So they are on Facebook, and you can find them. Have a look around Google. You might be able to find them. Uh, it's not not easy to find. I don't know why that is. Maybe they're new. I don't know. I don't know the history of the uh, of the company. So that's the end of my little review. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Comment below. I'd love to join in, uh, have a conversation with you about this knife or anything else. Subscribe to my channel. I've got uh, reviews of other knives, watches, EDC gadgets, things like that. And thank you very much. See you soon.